It was mid-July when Andy Goldsworthy and his crew returned to Kansas City to begin phase three of the walking wall and face a new challenge, the sizzle of a Midwestern summer. With the heat index soaring to 110 degrees by midday, the decision was made to start work in the darkness before dawn. The heat took a toll on the crew, but progress continued as before, with about 11 yards of wall built each day. Another challenge, the wall wrapped around the entrance of the block building, something Goldsworthy addressed during his talk in Atkins Auditorium. So the wall obviously doesn't behave itself. It is unruly, it doesn't obey rules. It is going against the boundary. It is about connecting things rather than dividing things. Uh, it is confront confrontational at times. It will affect the front of the museum when it's completely blocked off for a few days. It's going to be interesting to see how, how all that works. Once the wall cleared the entrance, it headed toward the narrowest passage yet, 53 inches across. With a wall that is 28 inches across, just a foot on either side to work creating another challenge for the crew. There is much to learn from watching the process of building dry stack stone walls. The Association of Preservation Technology stopped by to chat with the crew about their process, how the stones are selected, and their functions enjoying this rare opportunity to observe age-old techniques in action. Another visitor who stopped by to see Goldsworthy, Estelle Sosland, widow of Morton Sosland. The walking wall was commissioned to recognize the Sosland's deep commitment to the Nelson Atkins. It's been a great privilege to be making a work in their honor. Work on the wall continued during the museum's annual Big Picnic celebration in the Sculpture Park. As always, visitors were mesmerized by the craft and skill involved in building a wall that walks. Goldsworthy is now hard at work planning the next phase. It has been extraordinary, and I look forward to the next stages with great anticipation and some fear.